All right, what's going on out there today, guys and girls? We have a new product that I uh, picked up. It is a micro red dot. Um, it's the Vortex Defender ST. And um, I got it for my SP5. And I just wanted to do a little unboxing, show you what it comes comes with it and uh, what it looks like. So this is the box. Pretty nice little box it comes in. Got some warnings and things like that. Six MOA, I got the six MOA version. Um, and this is a kind of a newer uh, red dot that I have, uh, I'm told, just came out this year, I believe, 2024. The year we're doing this. And this is the box. This is the site. It's got a little cover on it. Comes with this rubber case port. And um, the side, the buttons are on the side. And that's the dot. If you can see it um, in there. Pretty sweet. But uh, it's got the shake awake uh, feature to it. So, and it cuts off after 10 minutes of sitting still. I have tested it already to see if it works and it does. So um, yeah, after 10 minutes it cuts off and then all you have to do is touch it and it comes back on. So that's a really good feature to have on, on this, this red dot. Um, it's got these serrations on the front so you can rack your slide. I won't be doing that on the M SP5, but if you put it on a pistol, uh, you can rack it like this if you need to. I wouldn't suggest doing it, you know, but if you had to, you could. Um, real nice, nice. I got this one's the, uh, I got the Picatinny rail, rail on it, um, and which is what I needed, but it's got a lot of other types of um, um, screws and things that comes with it. It's inside here, and that kind of opens up, and it's got all these screws with it. Got one plate, it looks like. Um, it's a Glock adapter plate, that's what it says. So that's good to know. Uh, I would recommend putting this on a 43X. They've got a smaller version. It's the um, Defender CCW, but this is a Defender ST. So this is for a full size uh, pistol or like what I'm going to use it on a carbine. Um, but it's got all these different screws with it for different types of, um, and it tells you on here what they go for. That's for an FN 509, that's for a Glock, and a Ruger, and a Springfield, and Hellcat. Um, it's got all these different, um, the SIG, Canic, CZ. So you're going to have enough screws in here to, to uh, probably for what pistol that you have it for, or what application you're going to need it for. But like I said, I need the Picatinny, Picatinny Rail section this is the uh tool and what this does is uh, on this side um that works on the screws like here and um the windage and elevation is actually on the side the sides of this tool um is what you uh work on it and you know this works on the picatinny part right here and then on this is kind of like a phillips head screwdriver in i don't know if it's in focus or not it doesn't might not be, but anyway, on this, it's hard to get a screwdriver down in here. So this part you just put in here and that's how you open your battery compartment. Battery compartment's on the top, but you don't have to take this off of your um, your weapon to uh, change the battery. So that's a plus. Um, and let's see what it's in the box. It's got that casing and it just got some kind of warning label that comes with it. Tells you, watch where you throw your batteries and things like that. So. Anyway, this is it, guys. This is a new uh, Defender ST from Vortex, and um, I can't wait to get my um, adapter. I, I ordered a Picatinny adapter to go on the SP5, and then I'm gonna when that comes in, I'm gonna put it on that, and uh, then we'll be able to do some shooting. So I've also got a brace on the way for it. So well, uh, look for that video to come. But um, in the meantime, just wanted to show y'all this one. So all right, guys. Y'all have a good one. We're out.